Paul and and Lizzie and we are here to share with you about our calling into mission specifically into Thailand and give you a bit of background about all that's been happening over the last year yeah. and a bit <laughs> um, yeah, yeah so you may have heard us share on this previous Sunday at church mm -hmm. where we gave you a little overview about Thailand Christianity in Thailand and God's calling for us as a family. We've got a four-year-old daughter, Phoebe, and um, now we're gonna dig a bit deeper and explain to you guys how it all began. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess where we'd like to start would be with um, one of the verses that we um, have been standing upon. So um, in the Sunday service, we shared um, from Psalm 96 verses 2 and 3 but the entire chapter that entire chapter psalm, of psalm 96 has been um, re a real blessing to us um, and uh, we would like to share verses well firstly we would like to encourage everybody to read the entire chapter it's such a beautiful chapter um, it's about the um, it's a song of praise to God coming in judgment um, but in righteous judgment and mm. verses um, 9 to 11 are absolutely beautiful within that chapter so um yeah lizzie's just going to read that to us i worship the lord in the beauty of holiness tremble before him all the earth say among the nations the lord reigns the world is also also is firmly established it shall not be moved he shall judge the peoples righteously let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad, let the sea roar, and all its fullness. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, um, in those verses, like it talks about all the earth, all nations, all and peoples. all people. And um, yeah, God has really called us out to go into missions to to declare His goodness mm -hmm. to um, to the Thai people. So. Um, yeah, how it all began. Um, let's go back to where should we start? Um, a bit of background about us first. Yeah, so if we go back to around 2014, 2015. Yeah, around that time. It's uh, We got married in 2013 yeah. and about a year or so after we got married we went on a short-term mission mm -hmm. to Hossegor, which is in the south of France. And before we went, we weren't really sure what mission was all about. Um, we well, never... kind of knew what mission was, obviously, because the church has missionaries. But... Yeah, but we had a set, I'd say, definitely for me, I had a set view on what mission was. Okay. Yeah. When I wasn't expecting to be impacted myself, from the mission yeah. I was expecting to it to be like evangelism so you go out you tell people about Jesus sure that's what I was expecting mm. which is part of what we did but it really impacted our lives and it helped us grow in our mm. faith massively yeah. didn't it? Um, after that or the um, we were part also well at similar time after we got married we were part of a um, a marriage small group yeah. um, where we were all newlyweds um, and we kind of came together to help each other in our marriages um, with um, just fellowshipping together and just growing together as new couples um, and in one of our sessions um, we we um, we what was it we did? <laughs> we, we went into separate rooms and we prayed and yeah. we wrote down our visions yeah. and what God's plan is for our future in yeah. the next three, five and ten years. Yeah. And and we all prayed into it. And yeah. When we were praying, we really felt um, God say to us that um, we will be going on mission. So we wrote down with a, on our ten year plan that mm. within ten years we would have gone on mission. Um, and yeah, so we also wrote down things for our three, five year plans as well. Um, so that was that. And I guess we didn't really think much about it for quite some time. Yeah. Um, and that was about 
five years ago now, is it? Five, six years, yeah, yeah. well from last year, like five years ago, mm. yeah. Um, and then time's going along, family grows, <laughs> life happens, and um, yeah, then obviously 2020 happened, and <laughs> um, lockdown, and I guess with lockdown we we just started spending a lot more time, a lot more intentional, a lot more dedicated and purposeful time really just praying. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, I mean, we shared this last time that lockdown was actually really, really great for us in that we were able to really reconnect with God in a new way, like just much, much deeper and yeah. just, yeah, it, so much, just so much happened yeah and I'd say prayer and reflection yeah and that's been a big thing for us so um what we shared just now about the 10-year vision uh it wasn't until we started reflecting that we actually remembered that and found well, the quite, piece like, of paper yeah. um so let, let me explain that <laughs> so when we when we're praying we're a lot more intentional about prayer life and um, we started hearing God speak to us and show us visions and messages over of see like over a course of a number of days um just revealing to us about us going constantly showing us going constantly showing waters parting um crossing oceans um then started seeing visions of um locations and then kept praying and saying okay god where is this what are we doing and god just kept revealing and kept revealing and each time we just got deeper and deeper and closer and um, we start again okay so we're going to be going to thailand um and we start praying okay well god that's just yeah <laughs> we, we didn't know why thailand um but yeah god just kept revealing himself to us in that we're going to go on mission it's going to go to thailand we're going to be crossing oceans and we kind of felt initially when we were praying like okay this is kind of come out of the blue this is just like how is this is this truly are we truly hearing from god is it just us saying this um and with more prayer we start hearing that no this is something that god has planned and has been planning for us yeah. for how long um and, and preparing us, and preparing us well. for for quite yeah. some time and at some point we were just going through what well, lizzie was going through um our bookshelf messy bookshelf <laughs> and going through an old notepad and um she found the sheet that had the 10-year plan written on it mm. and saw that on there we'd written that we want to go on mission and for us that was confirmation of our of what we've been hearing yeah. for a week or two or three weeks in that we're going to go on mission mm -hmm. um and we've always had a heart and a passion for thailand the culture the food the people um so i guess god just kind of like brought everything together yeah and he's continuing to do that mm. so a question that a lot of people have asked us as we've shared um because obviously it hasn't just been us two praying about it. Mm. Um, when we were certain ourselves, that's when we um, started telling like church, um, our close friends, uh, the global missions team, the elders, mm -hmm. and um, like everybody has heard and mm. seen. And so yeah, we're getting confirmation yeah. from other people as well. So that's also really helped to reassure us and really um, help us in um, getting clarity on mm -hmm. what we're hearing. Because whenever you, there are times when you pray about certain things and you hear, you sometimes start to doubt yourself or you start to think, is it me or is it God saying this or is this come from somewhere else? Um, and you do need to um, have that check almost with other yeah. people, um, with other believers so it's um I, I don't know how to describe it but you do just want that check to kind of know that what you are hearing is true and is right mm -hmm. um 
and we did do that as well and we did ask various people also to pray into it to make sure that everything was right yeah because obviously this is a absolutely massive decision and not something that we have taken lightly at all mm. and not something that we just suddenly decided oh it's locked down we're not we can't really go anywhere so let's just think about where we can go or anything like that and i think um I shared on Sunday as well, Psalm 119, verse 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light onto my path. And I think that perfectly illustrates how God has been showing us each part of this journey that we've gone on. Mm. Because for me, I'm a massive researcher, planner, some might say control, <laughs> I'm not going to say control freak, <laughs> um, but God has been teaching us um, throughout this process that he's got everything planned mm. and something that one of our main prayer points has been, Lord, please open the doors that need to be opened mm. for your will to be done, but also close the doors that we are not supposed to step through. Mm. And it, he's just been literally showing us each step at the right time mm. as well. So... It hasn't felt too overwhelming, I would say. Like, at certain times, it's a bit like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> when you think about the whole thing. But for each step that we are taking and that we have taken, yeah. God's put us in connections with the right people, people that have gone before us. Um, for example, uh, a family who are already um, serving as mis missionaries in Thailand. Um, I found them randomly on Instagram. Randomly, it's a God coincidence that I found them. And we managed to do a Zoom with them mm -hmm. and had a really um, good talk with them because for us we were thinking, okay, well, how can we do this as a family? Because obviously... Phoebe's about to start school this year. How does yep. that work? And then in terms of putting us in touch with, we have, with the global missions team at church, we have our mission mentors, Martin and Esther, who are absolutely amazing. Absolutely and they amazing. have gone before us for many years in Southeast Asia. And whenever we speak to them, it's just amazing because they help us work through things but also where they've gone before us they help us think about things that we don't even know mm. we needed to think about or ask because mm. we're like learning lessons from yeah. their experiences aren't yeah. we they've, they've been absolutely amazing um so um i guess one of the the, um, the biggest examples will be um even like citizenship so we don't have we don't share the same citizenship and it wasn't until speaking with them that they were like you might want to consider it because if something were to happen in the country and like covid where people had to leave we would have to go to different embassies and that never crossed our minds that something something like that could happen or that um you would have to go to different embassies mm -hmm. and therefore you'd be separated and whatnot so um yeah so right now i'm in the middle of um applying for british citizenship so yeah, that's also something that purely because of speaking to them and their experience and their understanding of the missional field and everything else, um, I'm actually on in, in that process of applying for citizenship. Yeah, and I think also um, that's how we realise the path um, that will be going on as well in mm. terms of like when we started doing research and God was really directing us in terms of, okay, so what organisation yeah. um, is right for us as a family and what training yeah. there is because it's not something that we had looked into right. before and um, it's through conversations uh, with people who've gone before us, with missions organisations that we found um, All Nations Christian College which mm -hmm. is where we're going to be studying. Um, should we give a little overview about that? Yeah, so... Um all Nations is, um, it's based in Ware, and they... Um, in Hertfordshire. Sorry, in <laughs> Ware in Hertfordshire, um, and they will be studying um, Biblical and Intercultural Studies. So, with the course, it's 
not purely theological based. It's applying that theology and knowing how to communicate effectively, communicate the gospel effectively in a cross-cultural setting. So what we what I mean by that is that you'll be able to learn how to um, share your faith with people from all backgrounds. So um, one of the really good examples that Esther gave, um, Esther gave us was when um, when she was a missionary, one of the things um, she was trying to um, share with someone was um, how the Bible teaches us that um, the blood of Jesus washes us to be as white as snow. But how do you communicate snow to someone who's never seen snow before in their life? But something that they do know and it can relate to is a coconut. So the inside of coconut is white. So she's like, oh, the blood of Jesus washes us as clean, as white as the flesh of a coconut. And it's getting that kind of cross-cultural understanding and knowing how to um, convey um, the gospel in a way that... Um, makes sense to the person from a different culture and different mm -hmm. backgrounds and um, yeah we're really looking forward to being able to um, go and study and just get really deep into the word and yeah. um, really know how to um, express what God has done in our lives and what mm -hmm. God can do in other people's lives and what he's done for each and every single person across the globe um, and yeah just really really excited about that yeah definitely and i think we touched on a little bit on it on sunday but um the all nations christian college has um a mixture of families couples and singles studying there and everyone will have or will be going mm. on mission so I think those connections that we're established there will be invaluable mm -hmm. and just being able to come alongside each other and talk about like what we're, how we're feeling and reflecting together, mm -hmm. um, especially um, as families yeah. and just making those connections that we're going to hopefully have throughout this journey. Yeah. Um, and with um, All Nations as well, they work on a principle or, of head, heart and hands, so giving you the head knowledge to be able to know exactly what you're saying is theologi theologically sound, mm -hmm. the heart knowledge, um, being able to um, convey what God's done on what he's doing inside you spiritually and, and, reflecting. and reflecting on that as well and um, the hands being able to practically um, serve communities and um, mm. locally or internationally or in whichever sense it might be um, yeah so from whilst we're at um, All Nations we'll be applying to um, the missions organisation called OMF um, and we research quite a number of different missional organisations yeah and after some, um, well, after speaking to a number of people, after mm -hmm. looking up diff all different different ones, we felt OMF was the best for us as a family. Um, numerous reasons. Um, we really liked how they support missionaries um, before they go, whilst they're there, and when they come back as well. Um, we liked some of the projects that they involved with in Thailand as well um, they have a wide wide variety of um, <clears throat> projects that they're working on mm. um, church planting um, community building um, reaching people who are victimized by various things from trafficking to sex work and stuff like that um, so yeah it was just OMF as a whole just everything that they did and what we also really liked was that they didn't just they weren't just supporting myself and Lizzie, but they were mm. supporting Phoebe as well, or that it's like the whole family, because it's not just us going, like there's, there's three of us here. So they will meet with Phoebe and um, give her the tools and the training that she's going to need to be able to um, be in a cross-cultural environment. Um, yeah. And things like her schooling mm. and all of the logistical things that I like to get my teeth into. Yeah. 
they have it covered basically <laughs> and they have specific advisors that will be working with us mm -hmm. as a family because like Paul said it's not a one-size-fits-all thing mm -hmm. and that's even when we get to Thailand as well so we'll be doing uh, language and cultural training with them and then when we're serving as active missionaries it's not like they'll be like oh so uh, we need someone here you guys are going to go here it's what God is telling us yeah. so it's going to be all obviously directed through prayer through God mm. and we we'll get to meet um, all the different um, missionaries that they have in Thailand and we get to spend some time with each and every single one and then wherever we feel God call us to go um, then we will be able to work alongside those um, those missionaries or yeah. if there's something that we believe that God's called us to establish um, from the ground up they will support us in being able to do that as well so yeah it's going to be um, an interesting time yeah. um, but obviously before we even go there the training in all nations mm -hmm. is three years yeah. so it's going to be three years from now and then um, when well, we go we leave at the end of August yes. to move to Hertfordshire. Um, I don't. Our course doesn't start till mid September, but Phoebe starts school at the beginning of September, mm -hmm. so we'll be moving before then. Before then, yeah. And then three years down, God within, everything's still going, and um, we'll then go to Thailand. And um, we said we'll be going for at least four years. The the reason we say that is that um, OMF has different levels of membership. And the long-term mission um, membership or the full member, you have to give at least four years of your time to be um, out there. And we truly feel that that's, this is um, where God's calling us to go. Yeah. And this was God God's calling us to do. So we are given at least four years of our lives um, to go in to Thailand to go and serve there in, um, yeah. And most importantly, as long as God wants us to be there, I yeah, think that's a really important point, isn't it? Mm. Um, I'm just trying to think. So maybe just like Thailand, just why Thailand? I guess maybe yeah. Because so with Thailand, as we mentioned before, it's it's a place that's always been close to our hearts. That's mm. where we went on our honeymoon. Yeah, um, back in 2013. 2013, long time ago. <laughs> And we've just always felt drawn to Thailand. Mm -hmm. And now when we look back and reflect on all the things we've been through as a, as a couple, individually, um, we can see God has been gently directing us towards this point. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's just been doing such amazing things over the years and it's all accumulating in this calling to go out into mission. Um, and everything's coming and has come together for us to be moving yeah. at the end of August. So, for example, um, Phoebe's got a place at a school, the school that we are praying for in mm. Hertfordshire. Um, we have on-campus family accommodation at All Nations Christian College. Which is also something we were something, really praying yeah. about because we weren't certain whether we would get on-campus accommodation because they're... It depends who applies, how many <laughs> yeah, families. How families and so many other things. Mm. But we're just so thankful to God for all that he's been doing. Definitely. Um, we're just so thankful for how gracious he's been to us and just how faithful. Like, at any point where we've not been certain about certain things, he's just calmly and kindly just reminded us mm -hmm. and reassured us that he has us in his hands Definitely. and we want to encourage you as well that when God calls you to do something no matter what he will continue to be there for mm -hmm. you um, and we just really want to encourage you that yeah when God calls you your responsibility is to say yes Lord yeah. and mm -hmm. we're hoping that we can continue to be obedient to his will and to his calling yeah. and to look to him for all things and to um, just his will be done, not our will. Um, that's been very, very important for us that whatever decisions we make, we want it to be in line for his will yeah. for us and for 
his plans for us and for it not to be something that we want to do because we want to stay on um, his righteous path and not go to the left or right but to just stay focused on what he wants for us and what he wants um, us to be able to do to glorify his name and lift his name in high honour yeah. yeah, I think I'll just add to that um, something that um, Martin shared with us right at the beginning nothing is a problem for God mm. so finances are not a problem for God um, like logistics are not a problem mm. for God like, even though with our worldly slash mind controlling head on he can just think oh well there's this option but that's I mean, we don't have the finances for oh there's that option but we can't possibly pack everything up and sort out the loft or I don't know like things like that but God, God's got it covered mm. and God will move and he does move and mm. he is moving and it's not just us like mm. it's all of his children we're all of his children and he loves us so much and thank you so much for listening um we pray that you are truly blessed and encouraged by what we've shared um and we hope that you would like to join our prayer network via email <laughs> Yeah, so the link to the form should be in the description for the video mm -hmm. and you can email us at palizzleprayerpartners with an S at hotmail.com oh. Well done for getting this far, by the way. So, uh, yeah, with that we'll be updating um, everybody via our prayer network mm -hmm. um, and via a private Facebook group. So we would be truly honoured if you do um, decide to join and walk with us. Um, this is where we'll be doing it. Um, and yeah. yeah, we'll continue giving you guys updates. Yeah. Although we're physically leaving Leeds at the end of August, we're going to continue being on the screens and sharing with you. Yes. So thank you. Thank you for all the encouragement, yes. all the prayers, and we give all glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Bye.